Hello, in this video tutorial I will show you how to create a word frequency count using the word cruncher tool. Go to analysis word cruncher. Here in this window you have on, on the left side the list of your documents. You select the ones that you want to include in the count, one document and the, the document uh, is here the words, the, the length, the number of characters, uh, their frequency, uh, the, the percentage to which this word corresponds uh, in terms of the entirety of the document or the documents. Uh, and here you can keep on adding documents uh, that will allow you to compare word frequency across documents. You may unselect separate counts by document and you only have one but here you can compare. Now, you can also ask Atlas TI to add words to the word frequency um, count exception list. In other words, uh, the words that you're going to add to this list uh, will not be counted. So, what do we have here? Let me add a new word, which is um, ability. And you see the word ability here on the table has a frequency of, let me see, let me see, only one, but it's in the table. I will insert ability to the uh, stop list and select use, and now ability is not there. Unselect use, ability is there. You can delete words from here, add words, use them all, etc. So you have some choices here in terms of what uh, what to uh, look for in, in this word frequency count. Now, I can also export this table as a CSV uh, file. Well, in fact, before I do that, let me say here that um, I do not really have to select uh, this document because this is a video document and this is a picture. So, of course, I will not have any word frequency counts in relation to uh, multimedia documents or to uh, graphic uh, format documents, just text documents. I click on export table and uh, a CSV spreadsheet will be created. Let me go now to that uh, spreadsheet. I, 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 what I did is I went to file, import, and this is Excel, and as a result of that and following the prompts, I, end, I ended up with this uh, table in Excel. So, of course, from here you can do a number of different things, such as create nice charts representing um, word frequency counts across participants, across documents. So, with that, I would like to finalize this video tutorial uh, showing you how to create word frequency counts in Atlas TI Mac. Thank you.